Recently, I was awakened from my hibernation. My eyes were opened. My senses have been heightened, and I am finally able to understand the chaotic beauty of Janaskis' music. This all happened the other day when I was listening to the song, Feel Like I'm Dying. Now, I've known about Janaskis obviously for quite some time. I saw him live and I've enjoyed a few of his songs, but it never really clicked for me. And I'm sure it hasn't for a lot of you guys out there either. And I don't even remember how or why I got to this song or how I found it, but eventually, somehow at that night, I ended up watching the music video. And as I was watching the music video, I felt like everything just clicked. The song itself felt extremely incoherent, but at the same time, coherent. And I guess in that sense, I felt like it paralleled the emotions he was talking about in the song. Of course, I could be wrong, but that's kind of what it felt like to me. And I loved everything about the song. I loved the pitched up vocals looping in the background. I loved the chorus. I loved the screaming, which really displayed his emotion and his feelings. I loved the drum break. I loved how the pitch of the vocals was constantly changing and oftentimes shifting lower for certain bridges. And I loved how the pace of the song constantly kept changing as well. And of course, I especially loved the meaning. So since listening to that song, I've recently gone down a Janaskis rabbit hole and I've recently just fallen in love with his music. So there's three main reasons that I've recently become a huge fan of Janaskis. And let me hop into all those for you. I also want to clarify, I'm not pretending I know everything about him. I've listened to a lot of his songs the past few days and gone through a big chunk of his discography, but he has tons and tons of songs, so I definitely don't know all of it. So first of all, Janaskis has an amazing image, and this is the one thing like I've always known. Ever since I've seen Janaskis on the internet, I've been like, that guy has it right. He has the whole image thing perfectly done. And I saw him live too, and that just further backed that up for me. I feel like Janaskis has entirely mastered the whole idea of image. You can start with how he dresses with his crazy outfits and his iconic mask, which unfortunately was broken. And then he eventually replaced the mask with bandages. And it's interesting to see throughout his whole career as an artist, I think he's had a couple masks and there was one music video where he was wearing like one on each side, so he had four in total. And he just has the coolest image I've ever seen. He also types really weird online with weird characters and he types all sentences in brackets. Kind of like what Playboy Cardi was trying to do or wants to do, but it actually looks cool. He uses a ton of weird symbols and imagery throughout all of his songs and the covers and the videos. And I'm not sure what all of them mean, but I'm pretty sure the main one that he has on his mask and the one I'm showing on screen right now means chaos. I think in the beginning of 2020, something like that, he started titling his tracks untitled underscore whatever the number is. He had a few untitled underscore negative numbers, and then he just started counting out from zero. Sometimes he would just have it say that, or sometimes it would also be accompanied with a track name. And he also has this whole mysterious and digital image that I think is done perfectly. A lot of his music and his themes and his whole image revolve around digitization and the internet and numbers and code and stuff like that. I also think I think he's an amazing performer. I got the chance to see him live a while ago at one of the shows and I thought he had the coolest performance and definitely the best stage presence, uh, no doubt. Throughout a lot of the group songs and when everyone was on stage, you can kind of look at him and he was just doing his own thing and it was just weird, but it was, it was just awesome because he's such an individual and I love it. And he also obviously has very fantastic visuals and music videos, which I will have running throughout this video as well. So the second thing about Janaskis that I think makes him such a great artist is that he has very meaningful songs. And I never really realized this till I heard Feel Like I'm Dying. Before then I figured he was just kind of another like one of those edgy artists that just yells and stuff but once I heard feel like I'm dying I realized like he has a ton of meaning in his music and from what I've noticed the main topics he usually talks about are the internet mental health and politics when he talks about politics he's usually speaking on big businesses especially fan companies and how they don't care about you and I'm pretty sure this is specifically important to him since he used to work at Amazon and I've heard they kind of suck sometimes I don't know I've seen headlines and stuff whatever and that's pretty obvious he doesn't like Amazon <laughs> based on his song shoot up the Amazon warehouse and that was actually one of the songs that kind of gave me the impression he was a little just edgy for no reason but the two other topics he talks about often that i really appreciate is the internet and mental health which often intertwine a lot of people and musicians talk about mental health but i feel like john really dives into very deep and specific instances of depression anxiety and his own personal struggles obviously i couldn't tell you how he feels exactly perfectly because you know i don't know him but he often describes his feelings and emotions in his music i think a great example of his chaotic beauty is this part at the end of the song never ending meadow <laughs> It 
it's just crazy and very chaotic and his feelings are going back and forth and he's not sure like what decision to make and it perfectly describes emotions because emotions are never just like solid you know things change all the time and that's like one of the big issues that he uh, points out throughout his music but I think out of all the topics he talks about my favorite one is the internet and how it affects your mental health I never really see artists go into detail about this I mean I've seen artists say like oh don't get obsessed with numbers but John like really dives into it for example on the hook of the song friend.exe he says <laughs> Which is something that people like know, but they don't really know, and it's it's just kind of interesting that he's pointing it out. Or later in the song when he says, which is cool because I don't really see artists talk about how your phone can like really affect you and your mental health. And this is just one song of many where he talks about this. A lot of times he'll talk about how he'll go on the internet and see what people say about him and that defines who he is and his, his whole image and stuff like that. And just how the internet especially affects him as an artist and people tell him what to do and what music to make. So it's pretty obvious this is a big theme to him. Obviously he has a ton of songs with other meanings, but these are some of the main ones that I've picked up. And my third reason why I've just fallen in love with his music is because he has crazy production. Oftentimes is very sporadic and chaotic which is kind of his whole thing but a lot of times I feel like the chaos sounds great and like I said earlier I feel like it kind of represents emotion and I totally could be wrong but that's kind of what I get out of it that emotions are just sporadic and constantly changing just like his instrumentals his instrumentals are usually these digital slash techno types of instrumentals that are pretty much unlike anything I've ever really heard and they're very crazy and chaotic a lot of times although sometimes they can be kind of normal sometimes he has crazy aggressive beats and sometimes he has chill relaxing and beautiful instrumentals such as the song server at 116 or three. Sometimes he yells and screams and sometimes he sings with a cool pitched up vocal effect and a lot of the time he blends all of those things I just mentioned together into the same song. <laughs> It's really hard for me to describe Janaskis' production, so make sure to check it out for yourself. Janaskis has always had unique production. For example, if you go like to the first few songs on his YouTube, they have similar styles to what he has now, but just not as good quality. And again, all this information I just told you is just based off of a bit of research I've done these past few days and me just listening to a lot of the songs he's put out over these past couple years. He still has a very extensive discography and I plan on going through it, but so far I'm really enjoying a lot of his most recent work. And I'm just really excited to see what he does next. I hope he can continue to grow and advance himself as an artist. Janaskis probably makes the most unique music I've ever heard with one of the most unique images I've ever seen, packed full of emotion and meaning. And for that reason, I have fallen in love with his music. I know you guys have been wanting me to talk about Janaskis uh, for a while in a video, but his music hadn't really clicked for me like it just did recently, and I didn't want it to be a disingenuous video like, oh, check out Janaskis, even though I don't really listen to his music. But now I feel like since it's finally clicked and I really enjoy his music, now's the time to make the video so i hope you guys did enjoy this video make sure to check out Danaskus. he's super underrated and i'm sure there's a lot more i could say about him or how cool he is but just make sure to check him out for yourself and see for yourself how cool and awesome of an artist Janaskus really is anyways i appreciate you all watching this video thanks for watching make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed it subscribe to stick around for more music related content other than that it's been many balls and i'll see you guys next time <laughs>